my main role and main focus is working with young people and trying to get them involved in the movement. Um, even if it's not something that they take on full steam, just a, as a way to like have a different way to look at themselves and look at their community and kind of find like the power that they have with speaking up, right? I think um, if, you know, we see like these groups of young people that sometimes, and I'm not trying to stereotype them, they might run into a CVS or something and ransack it. But what if that same mentality was taken to an ASC meeting where a group of young people came there and they shut it down until they talked about the things they want to talk about, right? And ASC meetings are like pretty low hanging fruit. So truly, really trying to help them find like their power through the lens of environmental justice, fruit through the lens of uh, urban agriculture, through the lens of all these different things. And those, once they're kind of able to find their power, find their confidence, you can get into the space of workforce. You can get into the space of art. UDC, UDC has a bunch of programs. You can get into the space of a, I didn't know Mr. Brown did all this agricultural stuff. I might go over and kick it with him. So just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a starting point, entry point to really help, I think, build up healthy uh, black kids in DC. And you'd be surprised at how many kids have asthma, you know what I'm saying, on, a, on, on, on the South Side or definitely in the Anacostia Side, right? Heat Islands, I think when we learned, because it was my first time learning about the connection between Heat Islands and community violence, and I heard that I was blown away. So were the students. All of these things kind of sprinkled into the students and you can kind of see, man, this is why the student might have a a, a deficit in this way because maybe his mom was exposed to lead poison, lead, lead paint back in the day and that could have been passed down to him or this young person came to school hungry or the AC doesn't work in this person's building. So it's, we just had the hottest summer of all time last year. When he comes to class, he's angry. I don't know what, because it's like, 120 degrees in his apartment or his house. DC is like, I feel like a re resource rich city. So it's no reason that we should have these, these huge gaps, particularly in the African-American community, especially in a city that has such amazing black history. You know what I'm saying? I can see if it was a city that didn't have black history, like strong black history, but we have like MLK, Marion Barry. So many people have come through DC, you know, and to, to kind of become who they are. So it's no reason that black communities should be suffering in DC.